News desk. My name is Kamimi Nyamani Amano. Now, the Ghana School Feeding Program is indebted to 5,000 caterers to the tune of 100 Ghana cities. 100 million Ghana cities uh, feeding fee for the 2013-2014 academic year, according to the Daily Graphic reports. According to the newspaper, the arrears comprise a 40-day outstanding payment of a first term and the outstanding payment for the hold of the 71 days in the second term. Right, let's get into uh, issues around that. And uh, Seydou Pakuna, Pakuna Adamu is National Coordinator for the Ghana School Feeding Program. He's joined me over the telephone. Hello, Seydou. Hello. Mm. Why haven't we been able to pay these caterers who are threatening to stop preparing food for our children in basic schools? Well, I think the, the answer is obvious. Uh, it is the state of the economy that has what about all this indebtedness to govern places like mm -hmm. the military also have not received their uh, budget allocation for services over the year. And school feeding is one of uh, those institutions that have been affected. So that is the main reason is to the company that has brought about all this. Mm -hmm. But say this. When there was money to pay these caterers, we complained woefully about the quality of food being served to children. And so now that there is no money to give them, what is there to be happy about, about the kind of food these caterers would then be able to give the children in school? Well, that is the issue that we're all worried about. The next message I just goes after the question. Uh, so, if you could speak up, you're breaking away. Please speak up. You're breaking away. Yeah, I said, now I have a friend of quality and the quantity of the food that we have the children. And I think that is the concern of all. And the, the, the Minister of Finance also expressed the same concern over mm. and over again. Mm. So, my prayer is that sooner than later, the Minister of Finance should do something about it. Yeah. I see. What contingency plan did we put in place or did we arrange uh, as, as part of putting the school feeding program structure or, or, or on the treadmill? What contingency plan did we put in place to uh, help with situations as these? Well, that is why we were looking for caterers who can do some kind of pre-financing of the program. But I think as of now, owing the country for about 143 days is probably getting uh, a little bit beyond their, their financial capacity. And we are hoping that uh, the Minister of Finance will do something about it sooner than later. I see. What do we intend to do about the caterers now? They have decided that uh, if the monies won't come, they would not uh, prepare food for the children? Well, we know that is the likely consequence because if we owe them for so long, they will probably stop pretending that they are feeding their children with uh, that quality that we want. But the, my, 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 my hope is that the Ministry of Finance is thinking about what to do and hoping that uh, by next week or thereabout, I think something will be done about that. By when? By the first week in July, I think something will be done about it. Are we going to pay them all their money or we are having a scheduled uh, uh, arrangement for the payment? Well, uh, I've just had that promise, but I think the details will be issued after uh, we meet next week. I see. So in the meantime then, uh, the, the school feeding program cannot assure that the food the children eat is of quality. Oh, some caterers are doing well. We have strengthened our monitoring and that we are going around looking at the food. Some caterers are doing very, very well. Though some are not up to the standard. No. But we hope to have uh, deepen the monitoring to mm. make sure that uh, 
uh, the right thing is done. And we have therefore appealed to every district implementation committee under every district assembly, district or municipal assembly, to intensify the monitoring. And we have involved the school implementation committee and then the, or at the community level, as far well as the security supervisors of every district. Mm. Of, of, the, of the school in program. Right. So make sure that the quality is, is, is maintained. Mm. We're, to we're talking. Cook, right, go ahead. For those who do not cook, the non cooking, they, that is not even more serious than those who are hanging on as if they are cooking by the quality and the quantity. Okay. We're looking at 5,000 caterers. Uh, which, yeah. which areas are the most concentrated in? Come again. We, we are talking 5,000 caterers. I want to believe we have over 5,000 caterers uh, for this program across uh, the country. So I'm asking, these 5,000 caterers, uh, which areas are, are they coming from? We are coming from all over the country. But the emphasis is on the, the rural or the poverty-stricken area. So that's where they are actually coming from. Not the, uh, the, the cities mm -hmm. or the center of the city. Or that kind of thing. Mm. Coming from the poverty stricken area. I see. In, in the future, we, we wouldn't want to see this happen. What's the plan? The plan is that uh, we have developed a policy uh, which will be before cabinet very soon. And if that policy is approved, adopted by cabinet, then it may be followed by a law guaranteeing the source of funding for the school feeding program. If we get a source of funding guarantee, you know, I'm sure that this is not happen. Of course, it will depend upon the health of the economy, not like what we are suffering now. If the health of the economy is good, and then there's a law guarantee the source for the school feeding program, mm. I'm sure that it will achieve its main objective. Let's talk about this policy. What is the policy suggesting be uh, the, the the constants when it comes to finding money for the school feeding program? No, the policy is suggesting that uh, I think some sources of fund or revenue be raised for the school feeding program so that you know exactly how much you are going to get. Now that we want to cover all primary school children and if possible even those in the GSN, I think we need to secure that source of funding by law so that it will not be at the pleasure of anybody as to when he likes or he doesn't like that he doesn't get the money out. Uh, what, I, what I was hoping you'd, you'd, you'd tell me was perhaps this policy suggested, you know, a, a few uh, areas it thought we could get this money from. Is that not it? Uh, that yes, uh, we should target that the payment should be for that. Now, as of now, the, the school feeding program does not get its source of funding direct from the consolidated fund, but we want it to be secured so that it will be paid out of the state fund. I and see. then some other sources will be identified to the. I see. The, the uh, caterers for the food that is supplied. Mm. Seydou, uh, many thanks for your time. Seydou Pakuna Adamu is national coordinator for the Ghana School Feeding Program. He tells us that sometime next week, payments should start for the 5,000 caterers who are owed over 100 million. And well, he said they are yet to decide on the schedule for payments. Payment. Now, to come on the program, we are looking at uh, new tariffs for electricity and water. Effective June 1, electricity has gone up 6.1%, while water has gone up by 12.09%. And uh, we'll also look at the 2014 Habitat Fair as we are joined live from Alisa Hotel uh, by my colleague Abigail no, Adelaide Arthur, rather. And then we'll bring you an update on the fuel shortage. Yes, yes what is new, uh, government has decided that it would pay the BDC so we can have uh, fuel here in the country. This is News Desk. I'll be right back.